What the? <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. Today we're going to take a look at rope darts. And these were sent to us by Tim from the Idahoan Show, another YouTube channel. And be sure to check him out, he's doing a lot of interesting stuff. Now I don't know about you, but he looks suspiciously like Richard Ryan of Full Mag. But don't let that discourage you. <laughs> now what Tim has concocted here is a steel and aluminum uh, dart of sort with about a foot long of paracord on there. The paracord is wrapped around the entire body and when it is shot it's supposed to deploy the paracord to help stabilize it and what we'll do is test to see if this theory actually works or not all right Tau Flater crew here we are again still at the uh, Tau Flater Mouse private rifle range we got some new things here from uh, Tim he's got a YouTube channel it's called the Idahoan show you guys might go check him out. He's got some uh, pretty crazy looking rounds here. What does he call those? The rope rope rounds? Rope darts. Rope darts. Steel dart, steel projectile, wrapped with some paracord, going through a couple holes, and they're supposed to create a tail to help stabilize this thing. We're going to shoot a few of them down range here at about 10 yards to start with. See if they're accurate, see if they tumble, see if they work. If they work, man, you might have something there, Tim. Let's give it a try and see what goes on here. Funny shadows here. <laughs> We're going to go for center mass and see what happens, you say? Yeah. <laughs> okay, the camera's running. All right, here we go. <laughs> Confetti. <laughs> Well, as you can see here, the there goes the paracord, uh, and here comes the dart. The uh, paracord was torn off for whatever reason. The dart was relatively accurate. It was tumbling very badly, but at least it hit the target. Well, it definitely hit sideways. You can almost see the silhouette of the shape. It's kind of pointy on the end and fat on the back side. Look at that. Accurate, it's still accurate. That's yeah, that's that was, a plus. That pretty much point of aim, maybe a little bit high. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else. We got four more of these things. It's gonna hurt either way. Right. Probably hurt more this way. Yeah. If we don't shoot the lead plate, people will be very upset. Unsubscribed. Uh, you know how it goes. Okay, let's try another one. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Oh, a miss. Hold on. That was skipping out across there. In test number two, again the paracord was ripped away from the dart. The dart was tumbling around and it just barely missed the lead plate. Let's see if we can make some contact this time. But, uh... <laughs> Well, we're seeing a trend here. Again, the paracord's torn away from the dart. The dart's left tumbling at a pretty low velocity. Just barely misses the lead plate again. Just barely. Come on. I don't know what advice to give you, Danny. <laughs> um, very uh, unpredictable, let's put it that way. Okay, uh, let's do it. Ah! Oh! I quit. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it went past the target out in the field out there in the dust. Okay, number four, same exact situation. When you keep doing things the same way, you keep having the same results. And that includes making mistakes. But, but I did one shell differently, as we'll see. I 
like I can't leather. remember how I loaded it. Looks like leather on behind this one. Okay. These three don't have anything. Okay. That one might be loaded kind of hot. Let's give it a try. I am ready when you are. All right. There we go. Oh, that one was a little bit hotter. Yeah. The biggest difference in this one is I, I put a leather wad to give it better support behind the projectile in front of the gas seal and that made a big difference. This one actually worked pretty well. It wasn't very accurate but it was flying relatively straight, at least a lot straighter than the other uh, previous shots. And because everything held together we had good uh, support on the projectile. The projectile actually was flying at full velocity. The paracord didn't get torn off, and it hit the vest pointy end first. Results on that one. All right, well, it hit a little bit low. We just about pulled the scot on that one. Wipe out our table. Oh no, not the garage sale table. That one went through. Ooh. So. Uh, it might have been flying straight. I saw, it looked like the paracord was still attached to that one. <laughs> At least some of it. Yeah, that one definitely hit low. My point aim was pretty much center mass. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think we'll find that one. Okay, let's watch that one again. You can see a really good separation between the gas seal, the leather wad, and the dart itself. And yes, I'm kind of kicking myself for not doing them all this way, but you never know until you try, until you test. Hey, I wanted to give a quick shout out to a viewer named Tom from Grand Rapids. Uh, your son, Jesse, let us know that you're uh, not doing too well, you're in the hospital, and we just want to send you our best wishes and, and love. We also want to thank our Patreon supporters. These folks, as well as our channel members, have helped keep our channel alive so we can keep on producing videos for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we have more stuff coming up from Tim that we're going to be testing out in the near future. Thanks for watching, and thanks for rating the video. We'll see you next time.